Hello everyone. Today we will talk about uh, one of the important tests which is coagulase test. Coagulase test is a, a biochemical test that we use in microbiology. It's a biochemical test to differentiate between different microorganisms based on their uh, ability to produce an enzyme called coagulase enzyme. And how the how the enzyme is being produced? So when the when the bacteria is cultured in a media the microbe will produce, especially the bacteria will produce uh, coagulase enzyme and that enzyme is uh, detected by this test and the organism that produces that enzyme is Staphylococcus aureus and it's, uh, it's gram-positive cocci which is present in clusters. It's also highly important because this bacteria causes uh, human infections, opportunistic human infections. So that is why coagulase test is highly important and it's been routinely done in microbiology labs. Now moving on to the principle of this, uh, this biochemical test, when you have bacteria that produces this enzyme called coagulase enzyme, and this coagulase enzyme once produced can cause formation of clot, actual blood clot. So if you give plasma, it can clot the plasma and there will be physical clot formation. What happens in that is uh, in, in, our, in our plasma, we have fibrinogen, which is inactive. And once that is activated, it can form uh, the, the clot, which is the complex or uh, you can say the, the three-dimensional complex of uh, fibrin molecules, which can be detected by eye even, or you can use microscope to see the, the solid, solid clot. So that is very, very important to visualize and carefully observe uh, for the clot formation. It might take a lot of time. There are uh, different incubation time given uh, with, with, with the instructions for this test. Usually four hours is the time that people recommend. So if there is uh, the, you can, you can say there is the, the formation of blood clot in the plasma, uh, the test is positive. Now next is the procedure for this particular test. So procedure, I mean, we need plasma, usually saturated, uh, you know, rapid plasma is being used as a substrate for this test. And when you add enzyme, you can, you need to incubate the plasma uh, first before adding the enzyme for two hours at 37 to make sure it's completely, uh, you know, free from any contamination. So once it's done, using uh, using a bacteriological loop uh, you can take the bacteria you can basically transfer the bacteria into the plasma so you can transfer from solid colony you can transfer from liquid culture uh, so that i'll show you in diagrammatic di diagrammatic way so you can say here you have plasma at 37 uh, degree for two hours you have incubated and then you have added bacteria from from any plate or from any uh, liquid culture into the plasma and after that uh, you know that has been done by sterile loop after that you can incubate it and you can uh, look for the formation of the clot now the next step is incubation so the the sample should be incubated and then when you add bacteria to the plasma it should be incubated at 37 degree for four hours four hours and after that you need to check uh, and you can also check regularly it's very important to check regularly whether there is clot formation going on so blood clot or it's a it's a closed clot you can see clot formation occurs a physical clot will be formed into the into the tube and that is the positive reaction so how you analyze the results so you will have uh, positive as well as negative results in case of positive you ha you will have a solid clot or fibrin uh, molecules you can visualize under microscope negative as no clot or no fibrin molecules that are formed and you can detect these using microscopes so why i'm saying microscopes because uh, sometimes the clot formation is not that prominent there are various uh, important aspects and we'll talk about them in, in the precaution slide where uh, we need to you know discuss what are the precautions we should take and and then in that case you might see a very little clot formation and that is why it's also recommended that you check the blood clot formation under the microscope also all right, so next comes the uses. What are the uses of this particular test? It is used for the identification of Staphylococcus aureus organism. And in Staph, you have uh, coagulase positive organisms, means Staphylococcus can have coagulase positive and it, it can also have coagulase negative uh, uh, organisms. Staphylococcus aureus is coagulase positive and it can be used, this test can be used for rapid diagnosis of the clinical samples for Staphylococcus aureus. It can also be used as a quality control test in the microbiology lab if you want to check for uh, Staphylococcus aureus contamination uh, into the area, right? So you can rapidly screen the colonies by using this test. And uh, if you have positive results, that means there is Staphylococcus aureus contamination. So many other uses are also there in, in research and in teaching. All these, uh, all these biochemical tests are being frequently used. 
All right, now let's move on to the precautions part. What are the important points that you need to remember? The first one is purity of the rabbit plasma. It should be pure. It should be uh, not having any contamination. Second one, fresh plasma should be used. Otherwise, there will be contamination. Third one is proper incubation condition, specifically the temperature. And uh, follow the instructions that usually you'll, you will see there are instructions available for performing this particular test. So all those four important things uh, that are there, why you have to be careful uh, when you're performing this test. Purity of the rapid plasma is important because if there is uh, impurity in there, so clotting process uh, may get, uh, you know, may get hindered. And in second case, flesh, uh, fresh plasma, if uh, plasma is not fresh, then the components, they will not work out. Even coagulase is present, but uh, it will not initiate the process of uh, uh, coagulation. Although the, the one important point is, uh, uh, is the process of coagulation using staphylococcus coagulase is different than the typical process of coagulation in, in case of humans is different. It's very important. I'll make uh, future videos on how the coagulation using staphylococcus coagulase happens as compared to the normal uh, human coagulation process which occurs in tissue injury. And then proper incubation conditions are very, very important. If you're not giving proper incubation conditions like temperature, like uh, second one is the time, what will happen that your, uh, your reaction or your uh, uh, this um, uh, you know test is not going to work out in a proper way and the results you will not get the results and you can you can get the false uh, false negative results means the, the the test is positive but the results are, you are not getting so all those things are important uh, i think uh, in this particular video we have discussed everything we have discussed what is a coagulase test why it has been done and uh, what what is the procedure very very quickly we have understood the procedure we have understood the mechanism we have also understood the precautions and uh, also the uses so I think this video will help you to understand the coagulase uh, process and I want you to, you know, a little bit uh, increase your horizon and read some more literature on that one. A lot of literature is available. If you have any, any doubt, please put it in the comment section. If you have any suggestions, uh, please comment out. And uh, if you like the video, then please do hit the like button. And uh, if, if, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please do, the, do subscribe to the channel and uh, it, will, it will support us. And thank you so much for doing that. All right. We'll see you in the next one.